Welcome back. Teenage heroin addiction is exploding across the country, and particularly, get this, in suburbs. And we're seeing this firsthand in our own backyard. Drug counselors on Long Island say they are treating addicts as young as 12 years of age. And many of them, they come from middle-class suburban families. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says deaths from heroin overdoses, they went up 45% just from 2006 to 2010. And earlier this month, I spoke with 30-year-old Craig Ames, a Coast Guard veteran and recovering heroin addict. He says... He first began abusing painkillers at the age of 18, and later he turned to a strong drug called heroin. In all honesty, it's easier to find heroin than it is to find marijuana now, 100%. It's, I can't even describe the scale. Um, you know, being in the streets, if you will, um, it's everywhere. It really is. People I would never even expect, you know, people... I always kept my addiction to myself. My friends don't use, I mean, they drink, but I always kept it to myself and stuff. And then slowly over the past year and a half, it was just amazing how many people I saw were actually using heroin. I um, know it's hard to put it, uh, it, to articulate this, but can you explain for folks who've never gone down the road what the high of the high is like with heroin and the low of the low of it? Okay, um, the high of the high. You know, you go to a doctor, even with prescription painkillers, because they're pretty interchangeable to me. It's, why do they give you that pill? To make you feel better, to make you feel good. Um, so you do it, and you feel good, you feel great. But once you stop, your bones start aching, you start sweating, and then the withdrawals are horrendous. Um, you pretty much want to kill yourself, that's how bad it is. It's almost impossible to stop by yourself. You would have had to have handcuffed me to a wall physically just so I wouldn't go and get it. Um, it's just that feeling is so atrocious or bad. That's why people don't even want to think about it and just keep using. It just keeps progressing and progressing and getting worse and worse. Be sure, please, to tune in this Friday, May 16th, to a special RFL presentation. You will hear much more, not only from my conversation with Craig Ames and others, in a one-hour special, all centering on the heroin epidemic. You'll hear from everybody on the front lines, from law enforcement to the treatment folks, to the families who've been fighting this, and some who've lost loved ones to this disease, and so much more. Again, that's all came off this Friday at 6 p.m. And, as always, we want you to be a part of the program, so if you or someone Someone you know is battling the addiction or knows someone who has lost their fight to this awful drug, we want to hear your stories. Just reach out to us on both Facebook or Twitter. That is all the time that we have for tonight, but thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Till then.